Hey guys, I'm on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, and no, I'm not playing radio today. Why? Well, conditions are just horrible, for one, for HF radio. But that doesn't bother me a bit, because you know what? We are about to go through a period of some of the best HF conditions we've ever seen. Stick around. Hey guys, I was at a, a little local ham fest yesterday. We were talking about HF conditions and I said, hey man, have you guys seen the SFI right now? It is unbelievable. People were scratching their heads and they were like, what? So I kind of had to explain. I'm not gonna go into deep explanation of that right now. I will put a link below to a video that kind of gives you a better understanding of that. But I was just kind of thought, kind of taken aback. Some of these guys that we're talking to were pretty, you know, well-established, long-standing uh, amateur radio operators, and they really didn't kind of look at what's going on right now with Solar Cycle 25. You know, I tell you what, the prediction of Solar Cycle 25 a couple years ago, everyone said, ah, it's not going to be a big deal. It's going to be like 24, kind of a dud or whatever. Boy, did they blow that. I mean, they really blew it. And that's why I was talking about it yesterday. We're coming up right now where the SFI is like well over like 330 plus in the mid 300s it hasn't been that since 1991 we're at record heights right now so solar cycle 25 is just blasted man it is it is awesome yeah we've had a lot of cmes coronal mass ejections solar flares a lot of geomagnetic disturbances and here in the northern hemisphere the summer's been a tough one for hf radio but you want to know what the summer usually is a, a, a tough one for hf radio especially towards the peak of a solar cycle why is that? Well, it's because of absorption or blanketing. The D layer is just getting lit up and it is absorbing HF signals and kind of acting as a blanket to protect us. I've got a really good, especially like to say the higher frequencies, the 10 meter band, oh my God. I've got a, a video for that too that kind of explains the 10 meter band and uh, HF propagation for that as well. But um, I'll put links to those two. But I just want to give you guys a kind of a, I guess we'll call it a little bit of a rah-rah because I'm excited, I really am. You know, just looking at HF conditions and what's going down, um, it's really going to be a, it's going to be a good year. I can see it coming. It's it, with with the cycle that they absolutely missed big time. 25 could be historic. Now you're also seeing this. Well, it's going to peak now. 25 is at its peak right now, and then it's going to start coming down the other side. No, I don't believe that either. I think 25 is going to keep going for another year close to that as a peak. Just my kind of gut feeling i don't know i'm not a uh, hf propag propagation or whatever uh scientist but then again the ones that are out there they've been wrong so who knows but um i'm really excited to see numbers that we're seeing right now for for stuff like solar flux index the number of sunspots it's just really going to be uh, our our ionosphere is getting charged it's going to be especially coming up in the next few months here in the northern hemisphere when um when autumn or fall gets here going into the winter man hf is going to be great especially bands like the 10 meter band we'll be back because of that if you look at like if you look at the maximum usable frequency right now for 10 meters the southern hemisphere is is awesome i mean they're, they're just having a blast with it through their winter and that you know and then going into their uh their spring so we'll get back to it and it's going to be wonderful here but like i said kind of a, a message to you guys even you text that can only get on 10 meters, 10 meters is about to become pretty amazing. And I think we're getting ready to go through some historic times for HF propagation and how good things are going to be here coming up in the very near future in the next few months here. As I'm doing this video, it's August here as I'm uh, standing on the beach here in uh, Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. So just want to say hi and uh, to, if you're a subscriber, thanks for dropping by. Let's, let's get out there, guys. Get out there and do some portable operating because it really is going to be amazing uh, coming up. I've got some new stuff. Hey, I just got a new 10-meter radio, so I can't wait for uh, for things to happen. I just got a, the new Redivis uh, HS4, which is kind of like the, an old Anytone 555, but uh, they sent it to me. I don't usually take a whole lot of stuff that comes to me for free, but if it's an HF radio, I said I'd try it. I'm really excited about this one. It's got a little bit more power than what I usually use. And as soon as uh, this 10 meter band really starts happening, I'm looking forward to that as well.
I've also purchased a couple radios to get ready for what's coming up. I just purchased a Q900, which is a 20-watt radio, if you know how much I love 20 watts. And that's a shack in the box, not just HF. That goes with VHF and on up. But um, I bought it pretty much just for HF comms. And uh, I like the fact that it has an internal battery, a little bit smaller than my G90. Hey, we'll give it a shot. Maybe it can uh, knock my G90 off the throne. I don't know if it will, but I'm going to be trying that pretty soon and giving it a shot as well. Also, I've got a uh, Kudosin, I believe it's pronounced DX286 short wave receiver that I purchased as well. Looking forward to things I, I, I like to do, mostly me medium wave DXing. I do some short wave listening, but I'll get out. I, I'll be back up in Rhode Island here in a couple days. So I'm going to get out with that and uh, do some little ultralight DXing as well on the beach there. But anyway, just want to drop in I'm on the Outer Banks and say hello from uh, probably my favorite part of the world, the Outer Banks of North Carolina. I just want to talk about what's coming up. It's about to get awesome. So guys, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hearing me out. Get excited, man. Do some research. Watch my two videos about HF propagation and the solar cycle. Solar cycle 25, baby. This is going to be a great one. Until next time, I'm Walt K4 OGO 73, my friends.